Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in Caroline County. More specifically, I am off the Ladysmith Road corridor, and today we're going to take a look at a five bedroom, four and a half bath home with a finished basement and a two car garage. We are located here on a relatively empty subdivision. Uh, as you can see, there's an elementary school there in the distance. It appears to be a newer elementary school and not many neighbors. This home was built in 2007, which leads me to believe that probably a developer started and things didn't quite pan out like they wanted to, like they wanted them to. And uh, unfortunately, the, the development has kind of stalled a little bit, but there are lots that are available here for sale and you'll probably have neighbors here eventually. We've got a nice country porch. This home has plenty of upgrades and is truly impressive. Uh, a few times a year I come through a home and cover it and afterwards I say wow, this is one of the wows. We've got a really nice formal dining room here to the left, straight back to the rest of the home and to the right here we have an office. This is dedicated as an office. We've got nice crown molding. There is no closet in here, so I know it's not intended to be a bedroom. We've got good looking carpet throughout this whole home. None of the carpet really needs to be replaced. This home was very lightly lived in and they were really colorful people. They really liked paint. Uh, you may or may not like their choices, but of course paint is the cheapest most impactful upgrade that you can do. I don't know if impactful is a word, but if it isn't, I just made it up. You know what I mean. We've got a two-story family room here, nice soaring ceiling. And from here, we can actually see up into the second level. I really like this open concept. The kitchen does not disappoint either. We've got granite countertops, a nice little bar here as part of the island. Your refrigerator would go directly ahead. Nice 42 inch cabinets. We got a beautiful surround material there. And of course your electric range would go right there. We have a built in GE profile, stainless microwave and oven. We're gonna come back through here. We've got a little bar area with a wine rack, perfect for entertaining. And I'm gonna take you back to the first floor master. I failed to mention that earlier. We do have a first floor master, a little tiny deck there, kind of in the nook between the main house and the garage. We are now in the master bedroom and wow, wow, wow. We've got crown molding, a nice, nice detailed ceiling there and beautiful wood floors here throughout. Uh, they really spent some money on some upgrades in this house. Directly here into the closet, the wood floors continue and we've got plenty of space once again. Our master bath is right here and you may be saying, well, Max, where are the mirrors? Well, unfortunately the mirrors are not here, but we do have a jetted tub right there in the middle and our shower does have a shower head. And since a shower head is in place, but the mirrors are not, I will go ahead provide complimentary mirrors if you use me as your buyer's agent. That concerns me just a little bit. We probably had a little bit of water damage, nothing major. A good contractor can simply cut out a piece of drywall and she can replace it with a brand new piece of drywall, sand it and paint it, and you're good to go. We've got our laundry room as we transition into our two car garage. It's rear entry. We do have an alleyway, which is on the rear of this home. That is pretty unique for new construction. The planners decided they were gonna have kind of a, an old fashioned type layout with homes with alleyways. And that's kind of neat because you can drive in and out of the alleyway and of course put your trash cans back there as well. Uh, I often get phone calls from people and they say, Max, I want a finished basement. And I immediately know that they're not really from these parts because we typically don't have a whole lot of finished basements in central Virginia. This is the unfinished portion of the basement. And unfortunately, we do have a little casualty there. That mouse at one time made this home, but not any longer. We have a nice, nice, large area down here with a wet bar. This would be absolutely fabulous as a woman cave. 
uh, wet bar with granite countertops. When was the last time you saw that at $272,000? This home has been on the market for about 150 days. Uh, my experience says that the sellers will probably take less than that. I do not represent the seller, but I've got pretty good experience with them and uh, they wanna sell this house. We have a bedroom here on the rear. That door is actually to the back of the house. Remember, we are in the basement and this could be a number of different purposes here in this room. This home is perfect for multi-generational family. If you have in-laws that have to live with you and you don't like them, you can simply banish them to the basement. They'll be fine down there, have everything they need. If they need food, occasionally the pizza man can come to the back and deliver to the basement. Okay, we're gonna go up to the second level. I'm out of breath. This is a big house. I'm moving a little bit faster because I don't want to make this go past about nine minutes or so. We have the view there that we saw earlier into the family room. This is bedroom number two. Nice size room. We've got a good size walk-in closet. Once again, the floors, the carpet, absolutely great condition. Nice bourbon material. We've got tall ceilings as well in these bedrooms. No tiny bedrooms in this house and no tiny closets either. Okay, that was bedroom number three. We've got a hall bath. Nice and white. Ceramic tile. Shower head in place. This is a really neat area here. We've got a nice open area. A lot of people would put sofa, television up here. Just a nice open place to relax on the second floor without having to go down to the first floor or the basement. Bedroom number three, this one has its own bathroom. So that will be really, really nice and convenient. We transition here towards the back of the house, a little sitting area, great place for a desk and a computer, and then our final bedroom. Really nice and bright, tall ceiling, ceiling fan. And another bathroom, this one of course, is dedicated to this bedroom. And probably our fourth shower head as well. If you or anyone you know is interested in a great deal like this, whether it's here in Caroline County or any other part of Central Virginia, they really need to talk to me. My name is Max Williams. I can be reached at 402 on Facebook, Richmond Area Foreclosures, on YouTube under my name, Max Williams. Thanks so much for taking a tour. Have a great day.